Hello and welcome to another video where today I'm going to be showing you how to make netherite armor. And firstly, don't go around thinking, right, I've got myself a new set of diamond armor. Right, I don't think it'll be useful for this. And throw it all in the lava. Thinking, uh, that's useless. Right, time to get crafting. Well, no. Firstly, you will need diamond armor. I mean, diamond armor is key. So, I think you'd need, you'd need, I mean, need diamond armor or boots or sword or hoe or whatever you want to make never. Well, actually, if you can't be bothered, if you want to make yourself a very long lasting iron sword, don't put um, breaking free on your um, iron sword, put on breaking free on the netherite hoe. Yes. See? It's attack six. No, no. Attack six? The same. Yeah. Well, before I do that, so get yourself a nice, fresh pair of diamond armor and then get yourself some of this ancient stuff it would look like that you can find it in the nether but you would have to go strip mining in three by three to get a more likely chance of getting yourself well a more likely ish chance put it in the blast corner okay you get yourself some netherite scrap you think okay it's time to make it. And then nothing happens. Well, that is because you need gold. Because they cannot... Well, that's in RL Craft. They cannot make it easy. Well, I don't know why they made it so hard. What possessed them to make it so hard? By the way, you can put it in any formation. But it only gives you 16. Classic. Then you think, okay, time to make it. Uh, nothing happens again. You're thinking, ah, uh, this is so odd. Well, this is where the smiting tables come in use. Other than, well, I think now that um, actually, if you want a really useful potion brewery for fire resistance, I say hoglins are the thing for you because they do trade. They do give you yes, give you um, fire resistance, but that's only if you um, give them some gold and they have a chance of dropping it, but never mind. So, there's a little hammer and some of this. And it's useful for upgrading the gear. Put that there. And there's the never right sword. Never right boots. Never right leggings. Never right chest plate. Never right helmet. Wait, no. Actually, you only need a stack of ancient debris. Well, actually, yeah, a stack. I was thinking of make crafting it like this. I just forgot about that. Sorry. You only need 16, and then you can get a leftover of 11. Yeah, you only need a stack. I know it would be a lot of mining for a stack of ancient debris i mean how rare it is it's like that in all of this take away that replace, replace that with that it's like one in all of this i don't know if it is actually but usually you find them in clumps of five or four five to four i haven't even seen one but I would expect it to be. And uh, does take a long time. I mean, it's quite nice. And then, you just take off your, your diamond armor. And if you're trying to prank someone by throwing all of the netherite, hard earned netherite equipment into lava, I think you'll need another strategy. Because netherite armor and tools are all high resistance. So, if you accidentally 
if you're getting rid of rubbish and you accidentally throw your netherite and then let's say you're trying to get rid of all of your dirt so throw it all in do 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 throw it all in throw it all in throw it all oh no i threw it all all you have to do is get yourself a fire resistance potion jump into the lava grab it back or you can just make a step way up and then like stay here and crouch and get the board. I mean either one. I'd say just do this one. It's much easier. And that's basically it for this episode. It's been extremely short. Only five minutes. And unfortunately that's the end on how to make Neverite armor. Bye! No bye bye!